You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, black and white sports supporters, we're going to talk about Deion Sanders and we're going to talk about Haley Van Voorhees, not Voorhees. If it was Voorhees, I would have to ask how her uncle Jason was doing. Uh, so Deion Sanders has come out, made some comments about the first female college football player that did not go out there to punt or kick, actually went out and played safety. And we've got college football fans that have weighed in after she posted some pictures on her Instagram that showed her physique off a little bit. And let's just say that a lot of people mm, are pretty skeptical about whether or not Haley is all natural. Let's put it that way. Whether or not she might be doing a little bit of a stack. Is there a... Uh, a D ball and a wind straw out there that nobody knows about uh, that, uh, that might be helping or propping up this player to get on a football field with men. And I got to tell you, Deion Sanders' comments are really talking out of both sides of his mouth because he has come out and he has he said what we all think. This player's got the potential to get her head completely knocked off her neck. All right, and we've been out there talking about the safety of biological men getting into women's sports. And now you got a woman going over into men's sports and are, are outside of boxing or MMA, the most dangerous sport you could possibly get on, the, maybe hockey, would be the other one where you could get your head knocked clean off your, your neck. Well, he worries about her safety, but yet he fully supports this pathetic virtue signal. And let's be honest, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, so let's get to this. This is OutKick. Deion Sanders had a strange reaction to Haley Van Voorhees playing college football. Voorhees plays safety. Oh, good luck. For Division Three San Shenandoah University. And became the first woman in college football history to play a game in a non-kicking position when she entered for a snap against one Juanetta this past weekend. And there we go. There's her picture. My goodness, the sporting news. Oh, a left-wing rag if there ever was one created. There, there she is. Mr. Amer oh, my bad. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, reactions are split across the internet. Deion Sanders seemed to be concerned for her safety one moment, but totally for it in the moments later. It's really puzzling, Deion. I mean, I got to tell you, I like Prime. I do. I think what he's doing in Colorado is freaking awesome. I loved him as a player. Uh, in the NFL, he was very good on game day and in his uh, NFL network career on television. Um, and no doubt, he can he can get to these kids and he can reach them. Uh, but, but some of the things he's been saying lately is just baffling. And if he's not careful, he's going to end up going down the road of a Charles Barkley, somebody that was very, very likable at one time and seemed to push against the status quo, and is now wrapped their arms around the status quo, right? I know he's virtue signaled race lately and, and, and lauded his players as black players and blah, blah, blah. You've got plenty of white players on that Colorado team, too. I'm just throwing that out there, Dion. Um, I don't even know why race is being brought up. That's my point. It, it's low-hanging fruit, and it's ridiculous from Dion Sanders. Quote, I'm happy for her. First of all, I'm concerned about her safety. Okay, then how can you be happy for her? I mean, I don't think you can feel both ways here. I want to make sure she's safe, but I'm sure if she puts on pads, she understands what's going on along with that. I believe in equality, not just of ethnicity, but gender as well. Good God. So I'm all for her. God bless her. Sanders told the media when reacting to Van Voorhees. Okay. Dion's reaction raises the biggest question. Is she concerned about is he concerned about her safety? 
Or is he all for it? He said both, but you really can't carry both beliefs while being consistent. You either think a woman who is 5'6", 145 is at risk being on the field against men, or you don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know how in the world, and look, she's, she's extremely athletic, and that has been called into question, folks. It has been. There's her physique. And uh, now, a lot of people are saying steroids. Personally speaking, I have known women back when I was in the gym a lot that looked this way, that, that honestly was not taking anything. But uh, it came with a lot of years, and we're talking about women in their 40s that lifted consistently for 20 years. Low-carb diets, uh, dialed in in a lot of different ways to the lifestyle. Not somebody of a college age, which would be late teens, early 20s, yeah, you don't see women with physiques like this, generally speaking. So that has called into question exactly how natural her physique really is. And we go over here to her Insta face, as Bill Belichick would call it. And uh, some people are really questioning what the hell is going on with this physique. Something is fishy. Those bulging muscles do not happen naturally on a female. What's going on, question mark? This guy just says it. Jesus Christ, how does your biceps look like mine? Yikes. Uh, I mean, it, it, and guys, it would continue. Looking vascular, where'd you get your trend? In case you guys don't know, that's a steroid. Yeah. Yeah. That is a steroid. I can't tell if it's a dude or not. And there are some people celebrating her obvious work ethic. And yeah, I mean, you got to work to look like that, no matter, no matter whether you're a man or a woman. But it does cause uh, people to wonder. And, and somebody up here acknowledges there's guys in the NC2A that are also receiving, quote, help. But uh, I also know that there's some dude out there that's qualified to have this position on a man's team that is not allowed to have it. What's your stack? <laughs> steroid stack, folks. Bro is on enough steroids to kill Sam Sulek. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, that's not great. That's not great. Oh, you got to take roids to compete. Another steroid user. How sad. A buff Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a shot at Trevor Lawrence. I guess he's not considered buff. Not natty, just saying. And that natty means not natural. This is a dude. Quit lying for clout, weirdo. And there was a lot of people... A lot of people that um, that that brought up the is that a dude thing. If you're a natty, I'm a lizard. Yeah. So if you're natural, I'm a lizard. Bro goes by bro. Damn, bruh. She on a stack? Five question marks. The steroids are crazy. Yeah. Y'all are just mad she's bigger than you. Yeah, I mean, that's it, possible. It's possible. Uh, steroids. Uh, steroids. No debate. My goodness. Girl face. Boy body. Ain't no way she's not a dude. Yikes. Definitely a dude. Yeah. Uh, testosterone replacement therapy. You're a effing dude. 1000%. Not a dude, just a chick on a major steroid program. And guys, uh, you dropped this, man. That's a needle. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, gains, yeah, all about them gains. So, you can see, guys, Haley's taking some heat. Now, she's, she's taking some heat. And obviously, when this kind of thing happens and you put yourself out there like this, you're going to call in a question a lot of things and one of them is going to be when you present a physique that looks like that in your late teens and early 20s as a woman, 
It's going to raise some questions. It is. Is it possible? I guess, maybe, if everything on the on planet Earth is dialed in. Like I said, I've known women that's been built like this before without steroids, but we're talking mid-30s, 40, 45 years old, and many, many years in low-carb diets and all these kind of things. Uh, you know, protein shakes, basically. And when they go into the gym... They do their best to try. They train like a man with the heaviest weights that they can lift. But at that age, it does raise an eyebrow. I'm not going to lie. And Deion Sanders, man, what's going on with you exactly? If you're worried about her safety, then you need to come out and say, look, I don't think this is a great idea. She's going to get hurt. Maybe she should, you know, consider doing something else. Play a different sport. If you're looking to uh, focus your athleticism on something, find something in women's sports that's a little more physical. Play volleyball, whatever, you know. And uh, so I cannot stand the talking out of both sides of your ass thing. I really can't. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.